Hey guys, if you can just tell by the title and stuff. Hold on, sorry. Let me take a deep breath. I'm kind of out of breath. It's kind of humid in my room here. But anyway, as you can tell by the title, like you can guess it, there's probably going to be a part two to this. So uh, this is my opinions on Pokemon X and Y, what's going on. And hopefully by the end of this um, series, I don't know. I don't know how many parts there are going to be to it. These are just my opinions on what they're going to think. At the end of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave in the comments about what you're thinking, what you're expecting out of Pokemon X and Y. I'd really love to hear them, and I won't argue with them at all. In fact, I'll be supporting them. So, in fact, look at this. Do you see this? This is Nymphia. A new evolution of, well, yeah, duh, Eevee. Cute, right? I mean, I really love this Pokemon. I like Fennekin, but when I saw this Pokemon, I was like, Screw Fennekin! Let's go to Nymphia! Huh. Ah. Uh, Nymphia, we don't know what type she is. I'm guessing it's mainly for she's, because look at it. It's a girl, come on. You can tell the difference between some of the evolutions. Umbreons are mostly boys, Jolteons are mostly boys, Flareons are mostly boys, Leafeons, Glaceons, and Espeons, mostly girls. You know how it's kind of divided, the way they look. Eevees, eh, depending, they could be boy or girl, but, yeah. But still, alright. So, Nymphia, like, information about Nymphia was released a couple days ago. And at first, I thought it was fake, but it turns out it's real. Huh, that's awesome. But, uh, turns out N Nintendo might have planned Nymphia for a while now, but they just didn't know when to put her in the game, you know? Because I stumbled upon a picture of this, like, movie poster thing on the internet, on Google. And, uh, like, there was, like, these Japanese words on the bottom... You can see, but then you'll see this bow in the middle of the words. You can see this bow that's similar to the one that Nymphia has. <sighs> Nintendo, you sneaky little bastards. You've been hiding Nymphia under our noses for like a while now, haven't you? Anyway, I'm really excited for this character because look at her. It's just so cute. Then it's just creative. I haven't seen a Pokemon like this. This is. Good appeal. I love it. I just love it. I mean, I'm grateful that Nintendo's actually doing a, po a creative Pokemon. Actually, this look this looks like something that like like a fanfic kind of version thing. Like what I would imagine a fan, you know, all these evolution pictures. There's like bunches of them. Have you seen those things? With Toxion ghosty on have you seen those things jeez that's a lot there's a lot of pictures that's actually what i thought at first i thought it was fake but it turns out it's real it's real so this is actually going to be an evolution so there's two rumors on how to get nymphia this this one i really don't believe it because this kind of this rumor kind of you know inter like inter like the concept of evolving Eevee into an Umbreon and Espeon because the first rumor is that if you level Eevee up to a certain level that you evolve it into a Nymphion. I, I don't really see how that works because if Eevee is in the front of your party and depending on the time and the friendship you would get either an Espeon or an Umbreon. So I don't see how that works. Because you might get an Nymphia. It's a 50-50 chance. 50-50. But it's a 50-50 chance. So, yeah. And yeah, you might get Nymphia. You never know. <laughs> so, really, I don't really think that's going to be a possibility. It might. We don't know anything yet. But, uh, like... Wow, I should probably make...